Hello, and welcome to Up to Speed with Online Teaching. My name is Jonathan Haber, and the number one request I've been receiving is advice on how to make the most effective use of online video conferencing tools like Zoom. So without further ado, here are a dozen tips distilled from lots of work that's linked in the description below. To begin with, plan ahead to play it safe. Believe it or not, some jerks have decided to have fun by crashing other people's video meetings and interrupting, or worse. So some safety tips include, number one, never publish a link to a conference in a public place such as a website, social media post, or tweet. Instead, communicate the link by email or some other secure way of sending it directly to attendees. Number two, password protect every meeting. If you think there's a risk, share the meeting link and password in separate emails. And three, most conferencing tools have settings that allow you to mute guests and turn off their video before the meeting starts, which allows you to check who's there before you begin. They may also include features like waiting rooms with the ability to keep new people from joining after a meeting has started. Look at the links below for information on security features of specific video conferencing products. Next up, your audio. Check that your microphone is working and that you are unmuted before you start a meeting. Don't be the person who talks for five minutes before realizing no one can hear them. Number five, while you can't help but have a fire engine drives by your house, sirens blaring while you're talking, try to minimize external sources of distracting noise. Make sure the dog is in the basement and that other family members stuck at home know not to interrupt you. And number six, when you're not speaking during a meeting, mute your microphone so that whoever is speaking can be heard without interruption. On to video. Number seven, make sure your camera's at eye level and look directly into it when you're talking. You want to give viewers an impression of eye contact when you're speaking. Speaking of which, number eight, if you've got two monitors, run your meeting on the screen of the machine that has your camera if you don't want to be talking to everyone at a weird angle. And nine, make sure you're well lit, preferably from the front so you don't appear in shadow on other people's screens. Finally, professionalism. Number 10, don't wear anything you wouldn't wear to a class or a meeting. While it might be tempting to run video meetings in pajama pants or your underwear, you never know when life might require you to stand up in front of the camera. Number 11, make sure the room you're videoing from isn't trashed and there's nothing behind you that you don't want others to see or that would distract them. Finally, number 12, no multitasking. If you don't want people in your meeting or kids in your class to be checking their phones, looking at email, or surfing the web while you're presenting or teaching, don't normalize that behavior by doing that stuff yourself. Enough said. As I mentioned, you can follow the links in the video description to find specific training resources on your chosen video platform. Good luck, stay healthy, and see you next time.